Hi guys, Crafty Christy here, and I am doing a VR for Dighty Dye's Crafty Corner. She is doing a hashtag 10 crafty tips and tricks playing off of Halloween. And these are 10 tips and tricks I have thought of that I use quite often. These are not all my original. Matter of fact, I might only have one or two that are original, but it still helps to those that are new to spread out um, any knowledge that we have. So let's get started. Uh, my first tip's going to be sticker storage. I went to the Dollar Tree and purchased this just box for a dollar. You just fold it and put it together. I bought some file folders and then see if you can see that. And I just went through, put on here animals, flowers. That way I can just flip through what I need and they're there. And it keeps me from having big old pile of stickers and having to flip through them every time. So that is storage tip number one. My second tip, and I'm going to be all over the place here, guys, so bear with me, is as well at the Dollar Tree, I bought an address book. And anytime somebody has sent me any kind of friend mail, um, anytime I join a challenge, I always put the person's return address in here. And that way, if I want to send a thank you card, um, a random act of kindness later on down the road, I've got it right here. Now, sometimes they change and they'll let you know usually, hey, you know, my address has changed, but this is handy. And what I do is, instead of keeping it by first name, which sometimes it's hard to remember people's first name because their YouTube name is always different without showing everybody's information. Um, decorate your life. I put that under D and then I know to go look under decorate your life and I'll remember everything from there. So that is tip number two. Tip number three. Now Dighty Dye has a good tip on baby wipes, not to use them on your stamps. But other than stamps, I use them for everything. They are great to clean up your work surface. They're great to keep your hands clean, especially when you're doing media, mixed media. Wipe off the glue, the paint. You can get these at the Dollar Tree, Walmart, anywhere. So I always have these on hand. And I always want to keep them on hand because, like I said, you never know when you're going to need them. So that's tip three. Tip four. If you're using a lot of glitter, these Dollar Tree dry cloth dry floor cloth that you use to put on a like a Swiffer mop or whatever. There's 20 in a pack. These will clean up the glitter like it wasn't even there. You won't have the mess everywhere. So for a buck you can't beat it. If you use a lot of glitter or just uh, fine particles of paper it picks up with no problem. So those are from the Dollar Tree. Tip 5. If you are watercoloring or uh, any kind of paper that is warped, if you finish what you're doing, let it dry, and then run it through your Big Shot, what, and just in between the two clear plates, it flattens it out. What? Blech. Flattens it out really nice, and it doesn't do anything to the paper. So give that a try. Tip six: If you are using a glue gun and you don't have a silicone mat or anything like that you're just trying to you know don't want something big in the area just take one of these silicone cupcake holders and just set it like that and it'll catch all the drips and it'll just pull right out when you're done you can also get dollar tree um pot holders some of them have holes some of them don't but they're also silicone those work as nice as well I've right, lost track here. I think this is six. I have this little tub, is whatever you want to call it. Anytime I cut paper and it's little pieces, I just throw it in here because sometimes I just want to take my small punches and I don't want to use a whole sheet of paper for my small punches. So I'll flip through here and just see what I have scrap wise um, so I don't waste a big sheet. But just little pieces I usually have. I just throw them in this little tub. Have 
have it sitting right next to me. Tip seven. If you don't have a variety of color or you're looking for a certain color of paper and you don't want to buy a whole set of anything, you don't want to go out and buy new paper, and you just need like a little piece of it for a punch maybe, uh, for decorations, whatever, go to like Walmart or Home Depot, place like that, that would have wallpaper, or not wallpaper, paint samples, uh, sticks or sheets you can just grab. They've got hundreds of colors. You can grab a couple of them and go home and just punch till your heart content and you don't have to buy anything. So if you just need a little color and something and you don't want to splurge on another new pack of paper or whatever, just check that out. That's free of charge. Tip number nine. This is actually super. So I don't have a lot of storage for I have several uh, metal die cuts. So what I did was, and this is, like I said, these are not, this one's definitely not my idea. I went to Walmart and I got these magnetic bent covers. They were like four or five bucks and there's three of them in there. And I took a foam board and I cut uh, the sheet to match whatever size I wanted, glued it onto the foam board, and now I can just flip through here to look at my die cuts and I don't have them all over the place. And then my tip for this as well for storage is tip 10. You can get these pretty much anywhere, but right around school time, these were like a buck at Walmart, these totes. I got a couple of them. It was perfect for this. I got my embossing folders in it as well. So always look outside the box on ways to store your little stuff and keep it organized to fit your needs. So that is my 10 crafty tips and tricks. I hope somebody can get something out of at least one of them. And thank you for watching. Go check out Dye Dye's Crafty Corner. She's got great tips as well. Talk to everybody soon. God bless.